Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Annette Walsford. Basically, we're here today to answer a big question. If you're not getting enough inquiries, enough customers or referrals in your service business, there's usually one major reason why. So that's what I'm going to answer for you today. And who am I to answer that for you? Well, for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm the founder of Common Sense Marketing, a, an agency that does uh, marketing strategy, campaigns, websites, training, mentoring. I've been in marketing for 35 years. I'm rather addicted to it. I've worked with a lot of service businesses in Australia and uh, England and Europe over the years. And um, in the past few years, I've worked with a lot of trade business owners as well. I'm married to a tradie and we have um, a tradie a podcast called Trady Success. So during this period, I've um, learned a lot about what makes people buy, customer buying behaviours, and um, a lot about, well, there's been so many changes to the way things are done um, online and offline. So that's also affects why people contact you, why they don't contact you, why they choose somebody else. So. There's two reasons actually, but we're only going to cover one. The first reason why a lot of companies, or you might be getting traffic to your website, but you aren't getting the levels of inquiry that you want, um, that's what we're going to look at today. But the other reason why you might not be getting inquiries is because nobody knows about you. So you need to do some marketing and get your name out there. That's the first, first reason. That's a big subject, marketing, as you know, um, and that's something that we're covering a different different webinar, but today we're going to focus on people who do know about you but aren't calling, aren't inquiring um, or aren't converting. So the reason is because they are wary about trying you out. They don't know you or trust you yet. So it's not like you're selling something that if they don't like it, they can bring it back and get a refund. When in a service business, you, you, know, you just can't do that. So people are a lot warier um, and they go through a, probably a deeper research process uh, when it comes to choosing the intangibility of a service business. So, the, and we've done a lot of research on this, there is three common fears or there are three common fears that most people have when it comes to um, making their mind up about choosing a service business. The first one is that they're going to be treated badly. Now this means that they're not going to get the level of service that they want, um, they're going to be talked down to, they're going to be made to feel stupid, um, they're not going to get the service when they want it. The, the level of service is just not going to meet their expectations. That's the, that's the third most common fear. The second most common fear is that the work won't be done properly. Now that could be from a trade business, it could be um, bad advice from a financial person, um, or you know, legal advice, whatever. It doesn't matter um, what kind of work it is, they're just afraid that it's not going to be done properly or, or solve their issue. And of course the number one fear that most people have is that they're going to be ripped off. Now unfortunately, you know, most businesses don't go set out in business to perform badly. They don't. They actually, you know, 98, 99% of businesses are good, but there are those bad ones in every industry and they're the ones that get all the media attention and they're the ones who spoil it. You know, we see the, the shonky um, financial advisors, we see the shonky builders, we see um, shonky motor mechanics, whatever, and they get all this publicity and they ruin it for the rest of the businesses who are very good quality and definitely always do the right thing. They're the ones that should be getting all the publicity. So that's why, um, particularly in the environment that we're living in these days, there is a lot of fear around um, you know, making a bad decision. So how do we go through this? How do we overcome it? Because it is frustrating because you know you're going to do a great job. You know you're going to provide exceptional value and you're going to deliver a delightful service. You know that. But how do you convince these people that you haven't spoken to yet to give you a go, to, to make an inquiry? 
Well, to answer that question, we really need to look at the modern customer journey, um, how it evolves. So let's just use an example, Sally. Sally needs a tradie. Let's, or she could, you know, she could need a personal trainer. She could need a health professional. But let's say she needs a tradie. So the first thing she does is she asks her family and friends and colleagues and even her buddies on social media, can anybody recommend a good plumber? Um, it's something that we all do. It's the first thing we, we usually do when we, we we need to hire somebody. We ask around because we like recommendations, somebody that's already used somebody. If she does get a recommendation, well, the first thing she's going to do is probably is go and check them out online, their website, and also look at reviews and see what other people are saying about them. If she doesn't get any recommendations, uh, excuse me, she'll go and do some research. She'll go to Google, she might Google, you know, plumber in Springwood. Um, she might go to some of the, the big trade directories. Um, she might go to True Local and see what she can find. And she'll, she'll look um, and see at the websites, she'll she'll have a look at reviews, she'll check out all the online reviews um, and see what people are saying about these, these, and that'll help her make up her mind which ones to call. So that's the kind of process that she's going to go through to find a few. When she finds some that um, where the reviews are good and they seem to fit the bill, she'll phone them or she'll fill out an online form or she'll email them, whatever. And then, of course, that's when the whole sale process go, uh, kicks in and it's up to that plumber to, um, you know, go through the sales process properly, to treat her with respect, to um, answer her, overcome her objections, to give her the kind of, you know, customer service and quote um, and delivery that she's after. So let's say the job, he, he does get the, the business, the job's done. At the end of the job, you know, we need to know, is she satisfied? Well, she's going to be satisfied or not. If she's not satisfied, then she's going to want rectification. But not only that, she's probably going to be a bit upset and there's no way she's going to go and leave him a glowing review or recommend him to her friends, is there? She might go and leave him a nasty review. Um, if she is satisfied though, and he's delivered brilliantly, she, she might go and leave him a glowing review and recommend him to her friends. So, it's a bit like, you know, a few years ago, um, this whole recommending and referring people was all down to what they called the old boys network. If you were in that network, well, then you got recommended around. These days, it, the whole world is your network. Everybody um, recommends and refers and, um, you know, gives glowing reviews and bad reviews. The network is out there. It's public and it's everybody's network. So that's the, the typical customer journey, that's the way it works, it's changed a bit, it's, um, it's very public now. It's all around social proof and social proof means that we tend to go with the crowd, we tend to do what we see other people doing because, you know, that makes us feel a little bit more secure. I mean, for example, this is um, Ferg Burger is um, a famous burger joint in Queenstown in, in New Zealand and um, there's always a big queue at the front and you can, you can imagine if you arrived there and you were driving past or walking past and you saw this queue, you'd be thinking, oh my gosh, those burgers must be good, I better go and try them out. We, we are creatures of, um, of habit. If we, if we see, you know, we're driving around or we're going out for the evening and we see a queue to get into a pub or a club or a restaurant, we think, well, that place must be good. If we see a place that's looking a bit empty, we think, well, that must be no good. It's social proof. Um, you know, because we want assurance that we're making the right purchasing decision. We, we, we find safety in numbers if other people are going with the flow, going with the crowd. When we're choosing a service business, we do want to know that other people have used this business before and that they were happy. It's human nature, it's the way we are. But if we go to a website and the website sort of says, oh, you know, we've, we can do everything and we've been around a long time and we're fantastic people and we're really good at what we do, that is actually, you know, marketing. When you say that about yourself, it is marketing. But when your customers say it about you, it's social proof. So I want to share with you some 
uh, research from the world's biggest research company, Nielsen's research that they did uh, recently, which is pretty astounding. And it just shows that um, marketing and um, influence has come a long way. So TV years ago used to be, you know, the big influencer. Well, no more. 92% of people trust recommendations from friends and family over all forms of advertising. Isn't that incredible? And people are four times more likely to buy when referred by a friend. So that, you know, the, refer the referral is, is actually a bit of, you know, pre-selling and it really helps them make up their mind. And 65% of new business comes from referrals. Now, it's going to be different as an average. It's going to be different for different businesses. Some businesses may only get, you know, 20%, 10 to 20% of new business from referrals. Others, it might be as high as, you know, 95%. It depends, I think, on the type of business, but particularly depends on how much effort the business owner puts into encouraging people to provide referrals. And that's down to the level of service and some, some other sort of proactive activities that we're going to get into. The other um, interesting facts about how people buy relates to online reviews, which we were just talking about, and they have become extremely important for building trust. So if you don't get a recommendation or a referral for a kind of business that you're looking for from a friend or a family member or whatever, then you have to trust the judgment of strangers. And because how else are you going to find out whether this business is, you know, trustworthy? Well, so you go and look at reviews. And it's interesting because 84% of people actually do trust online reviews as much as a personal recommendation. And a lot of people read up to 10 reviews. Now, you're not going to read up to 10 reviews if you're just looking for the sort of, you know, a local takeaway place. But if you're looking to spend some serious money with, um, you know, some kind of professional service provider, then you might go and read several reviews. Um, and most people say that, that, you know, the positive reviews make them trust a local business more. Now, this, this research um, came out, this is last year's research from Bright Local, who's one of the world's biggest local SEO expert companies. And they've been doing this massive survey every year for the past few years. When I first started looking at it, um, 2014 or so, these figures were quite down. You know, it was in the 40s and 50 percent. These days, with the, the internet and the massive growth in online review sites and social media, um, most of us rely on reviews to help us make decisions. That's just the way it is. So the obvious solution to um, this dilemma of how to get more inquiries and, and more customers really lies with gaining trust so that when people do visit your website or hear, see your marketing, your social media pages or whatever, you want them to trust you so that they'll call you and they'll make an inquiry. You want to impress them so that they'll choose you over your competitors and you want to delight them so that they will refer you. So how do you build that trust? Well, basically, through social proof, through reviews, through testimonials, and through referrals. And also through reducing risk, and a strong guarantee is one way to do that. There are other ways as well. So the sad part is that 83% of people are willing to refer you after a positive experience. They're like, yep, yeah, no, there's nothing sad about that. Don't get me wrong, that's brilliant. The sad part is that less than 29% of them will actually do it. They just get busy and they forget. So this is kind of living in hope, isn't it? You can hope and you really do hope that your customers will leave you a nice review and refer you to their friends. But seriously, hope is not a reliable strategy as we've seen. So the best solution to more reviews and referrals is to actually implement a system that works on autopilot and doesn't rely on hope, a system that will make the things happen for you. And that's what we've been working on for years. Um, we've, uh, we've believed that we've come up with a, a perfect system and I'm going to show you all the components of the system and how it works so that you can put this system into your business. So it's, I call it a machine. Um, 
basically the components or, or what you need is first of all on your website you need risk reduction so that when people do find you um, they're, they're quite sort of feel safe about you know giving you a call and doing business with you so that could be a strong guarantee proof of your credentials and your experience um, they like to see some social proof on your website so a gallery of your work some customer te testimonials that sort of thing and to get those sorts of things you can um, you know, particularly your customer testimonials you can you know ask your customers while you're with them you could email them and ask you to send you a testimonial or one of the, the best and easiest and fastest ways we've found to get testimonials is to actually um, ask your customers to fill out a customer satisfaction survey and I'll show you exactly how that works shortly. Then of course you also want some independent social proof um, that on a third party site like review sites or on your social media pages on, in directory listings um, because they're sort of independent proof that it's not you putting those um, testimonials up, it's other people. So how do you get those? Well ask, ask people for them and remind them to do it. You also want your customers to refer you um, and the best way to get customers to refer you is to inspire them to do so and to, to ask them for it and to remind them. And that's what this system that I'm going to show you is all about. So here are the components. First of all, we want some reviews. We want some third-party reviews um, on places like our social media pages, Facebook, Google, Womo, which um, is a site, word of mouth online, uh, True Local, Yelp, um, depending on what business you're in, um, yeah, TripAdvisor, there's, there's heaps of them. But it's so important to get some reviews on these sites and this is what we've done for some of our clients is um, particularly tradies um, and service businesses where they're visiting clients is to hand out, get a, printed a little card like this and they hand these cards out when they finish the work and said look if you're really happy with um, the service that we've given you today it would really mean a lot to us if you would give us a review and here's um, where you can go and where we're listed where you could go and give us a review and you know how like sometimes you know those sites particularly Google and True Local the, the URL where your listing is is actually very long so you don't want to print that on a piece of paper because it'll take them forever to sort of copy and paste it. You can use a service called Bitly, there's other ones as well, we use Bitly, it's a free little um, app online where you put in a big long URL and it turns it into a really short little URL like you see here. Um, and as soon as people type that into their browser, it takes them straight to the to the specific URL. So that's the first thing. That's a a way to ask people to review you. The second thing, as I mentioned earlier, was to actually um, get them to fill out a survey. And we don't call it a survey. We actually call it a customer satisfaction feedback form. Um, we, we created just a few simple little questions about the quality of service, punctuality, quality of work, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, we asked them to provide honest feedback on um, things that were, that were wrong because so, it's really, really important to know what's, you know, particularly if you've got employees to know that they're performing their jobs properly um, when they're out in the field, they're not, and you know, you also need to know that every single step in the process that you're doing correctly, it's not until you get feedback can you improve. Um, and then we also ask for, um, you know, have you got any other comments or a testimonial and if they do leave a testimonial, would you be, we ask their permission to publish it on the website. Now there you go. How quick and easy was that to achieve? This is a, um, uh, a written a handout format, but we also have an online format to make it very simple for people to fill it out online. Um, then we talked earlier about referrals and incentivizing customers to give you a referral. So here's a little um, referral idea that uh, this particular customer of ours, our client, um, need an electrician. 
he decided that he would um, give any of his customers who referred him um, a $20 Myers gift card um, as a little sort of incentive um, and also give one to the um, the person that they referred them to. So his, his, his value or his rewarding both parties, he figured out that um, the cost of acquiring new customers by the time you look at it, you know, in terms of Google advertising and all other forms of advertising, that when you actually get a referral, it's much better quality lead because it's been referred, the customer's done the selling for you and the, the, the person that they've referred you to is most likely going to use you. So the, the cost of getting that, that, um, that new lead, that new business at $40 was well worth it because of the amount of revenue and ongoing revenue, repeat business and further referrals that escalate. So the other side of this card is just got their um, their name and contact details and logo. So it's you know it's a business card one side and referral incentive card the other, and they work so well. And the final step in the whole process is um, you know when you're on site you're handing these things out, but what happens you know a week two weeks down the track if they forget to do it? So that we what we suggested to our client was that he put, um, he sent out some follow-up reminder emails, you know, to new clients, just thanking them for the business and reminding them to hand out the referral cards and give them a review, that sort of thing. So this is kind of the, the core components of a marketing system that is proactive in getting you the kind of reviews and referrals and testimonials that you need. So once he put the system in place, this is just a snapshot of his um, True Local listing. You can see he's got 30 positive reviews. Now anybody looking for an electrician in Earlwood in True Local would see all these, you know, local electricians listed. Well, of course, the top one with the 30 reviews is going to look a lot more trustworthy and worth calling than the next two. Well, this next one's got no reviews and the one below has only got one. So, so far he's got 30 reviews and his, and his um, survey forms have generated him 44 testimonials which are on his website. So, it's a fantastic system there. They're all reviews and testimonials he didn't have before. So, this is the machine. When you basically use all of those components every single week and you get, you know, more trust. You're building trust. You're showing people that they can trust you through the the reviews that you're generating, through the testimonials that you're generating and through the referrals that you're generating, which in turn deliver you more prospects, which in turn help those prospects become customers. That's the machine. Keep feeding the machine. Now, the machine, you know, if you look at the bigger marketing machine, you're, do, you're spending money on Google AdWords perhaps, on SEO to get people to your website. You're doing um, stuff on social media. Perhaps you're listing your business in directories, you might be doing some offline stuff, you're doing all sorts of kind of marketing to get people um, to find you, particularly if they're you know, in, the, in the market for your type of service business. Um, that's the first step in the process. The second step in the process is to build, you know, show that you're trustworthy through guarantees, through reviews, through testimonials, through galleries of work. Um, to reduce their risk and make them realise that you are the kind of service business that uh, is really worth dealing with. And the result, of course, is more inquiries, which leads to sales, which um, you do a fantastic job, which leads to customer satisfaction, which leads to repeat business, which leads to more referrals coming into your business. So you can see this lovely, big, powerful circle and how it all works. So there's the machine, keep feeding the machine, this is the, the marketing process and I hope that's making sense to everyone. I'd like to show you another example, this is um, a, a, of the machine or the, the process, the components, this is um, another client of ours, um, a painting business in Brisbane, who um, this is a copy of, you can see on the left of their online customer satisfaction survey which is um, the link to that survey is, is sent um, within a couple of days of them completing their work if they don't fill out a, uh, a hand one. 
task by hand. And when people, we've set the system up so that when people do fill out this online survey, it's, you know, we set it up in a Google form, uh, the, the results, the answers that they give are automatically um, put into a Google spreadsheet and the client uh, also receives an, an email saying that she, um, somebody new has filled out the online survey. Um, and we also, because we look after her website, we also get a copy, um, we get notified by email, one of our team members, and we go and uh, review the, the latest um, survey response and if it's um, a good one and uh, the, the person has given their permission to put it, um, for it to be published, we, we take that, that testimonial and add it to their website. And so far she's had 122 survey responses and testimonials, which is amazing. 18 re online reviews. She said that since they, we put, she put this kind of system in place, um, she's increased, they've increased profit by 20%. They've put on eight staff and they've never been busier. In fact, um, they were relying heavily on Google AdWords for driving traffic to the website and getting inquiries and they've been able to chop that Google AdWords expenditure by about 60%, I believe, and sometimes they even turn it off completely if they're booked out well in advance. She's quite into systems, um, so she tracks every lead, um, she contracts the, the conversion rates, she knows who's referred whom. Um, she gets a lot of customer satisfaction survey forms returned, they're getting a lot of reviews. And what's most important is that um, they're getting around 12 good quality referrals a month. So that's why they've been able to chop a lot of their Google advertising costs back because a lot of their business is coming from referrals. In fact, I think the stats are that it's gone from 32% to about 75%, which is amazing. So just to review, just so you can see all of the components um, and the process. So when your team is on site or you're with a client, you, what we recommend that you do is you hand out your review cards, these little cards, you know, the other side has got the bit.ly links to the um, review sites where you want people to give you a review. This is the other side of the card. You hand out a customer survey, ask them to complete it. What you can do with the survey form um, is also give them an envelope um, and ask them to, you know, put it in the envelope and seal it and get your team to bring it back and just let them know that only the boss sees the completed surveys. If they're not happy to fill it out on site, you can let them know that we'll send you a link and um, you can fill it out, you know, um, confidentially online. But we really, really want your feedback because otherwise we can't, you know, fix any mistakes or improve as a company unless we have honest feedback. And and. It's incredible, everybody loves to give their opinion. So you'll find that a lot of people will, if you make the survey short and um, don't ask too many questions, um, but just you know appropriate ones and make it very easy for them to fill it out, they will fill it out. And it's gold, it is absolute gold. And, and don't forget to hand out referral, in, referral cards, you know, with a little incentive to, um, to incentivise people to, or to reward people for taking the time to refer you to their friends. It's a kind of nice thank you. And we suggest handing out, um, you know, leaving three or four, don't just leave one, leave a few. So they're the kind of on-site, offline things that you do as part of this system. But also it's really important to follow up uh, by email because as we saw early, earlier, even though people say they're going to do this sort of stuff, um, 80, was it 88% or something, less than 29% actually will because they just get busy. But when you send out a reminder, nice reminder email, um, and this is two that we put together for our painting uh, clients, the first one um, just sort of thanks them kindly for their business and says, you know, would you be um, kind of, would you give us your honest opinion and it's got a link through to this um, survey form. Um, and would you do us another favour, would you be happy to uh, review us and put, there's links there to um, 
the review sites. Then another email goes out a couple of weeks later just reminding them that they'd love to reward them with a, a gift card, a wish gift card, them and a friend. Um, so please hand them out and um, go shopping on us. So there's a bit of light-hearted humour there, but it's incredible how that just sometimes that little reminder really does work. Uh, we've also drafted up for them a thank you letter, um, which they print off and send out. It's a nice, friendly, cheerful thank you letter um, that they enclose the, the gift card. So that's that goes out to um, the people that's referred them within as soon as that referral comes out, it's not, you know, it's really important to get that done quickly and it's, it's incredible. The faster you do it, um, the, mo the more impact it has. In fact, I had a very similar situation like this a few years back. Um, my husband's a carpet cleaner, a carpet installer, sorry, and um, he was supplying and laying carpet. And we had a, a client, a lady, retired lady uh, um, up on the north side, and we put in a little... Um, referral incentive system of little pot plants, little marigolds I think they were, and because she referred us to her daughter and so he ended up supplying and laying his da her daughter's carpet. So he took around this little pot plant of marigolds and left them you know, with a little thank you note saying how much he appreciated the referral and lo and behold a week later he gets another referral from an, a neighbour of hers. So he went back, you know, and thanked her with his little pot plant. And over the course of about six months, he delivered six little pots of, actually I think one time he, he took another kind of flower and she said, oh no, I want marigolds please. <laughs> she'd, been, she'd been given these series of pots and she wanted marigolds to, to go in. Or, is it incredible what some people will respond to, but it really worked. And, you know, he got six quite quite decent sized jobs out of it just from saying thank you with a little um, gift like that. So it really does work. And of course when you get these lovely testimonials and re um, reviews and things, put them on your website. Um, share them with the world. Print them, add them to, you know, if you're putting together quotes and proposals that you deliver in person and printed format, have a, have a bunch of them you know, in with a quote as well. So you should be um, sharing your lovely testimonials with as many people in as many different ways as you can. Put them up on your on your Facebook page. Tell the world. Shout about it. Now, if this all seems a lot of work, um, it is. But we've had well, I've had some clients who've gone. This is fantastic, and they've gone ahead and put it into place themselves. It's not that hard to do. You've seen the components. It's just a matter of get, matter of getting things printed, of designing things, and putting the system in place. However, if you would like some help setting up um, your trust and referral system, we would be delighted to help you. And I'll share with you details of the kind of system that we've put together, or the the package that we've. Um, put into place for our clients. So you can decide whether to do it yourself or if you want some help, um, we can do it with you. So our system I've called the Ultimate Customer Referral and Trust System. What we do is we have come up with a few different designs and we custom design, write, print and send to you six different things. There's your little review cards. So we um, we add your logo and we put we create the bitly links for your listings um, on your review sites and we print them on the back and we get them printed on nice quality stock cards and send you 500 of those. Your referral cards um, is like a little business card with your um, gift choice on the back and value and the wording that you want on the back. Uh, we send you a thousand of those. The customer feedback system is basically consists of a word version of the um, survey form which we'll design in conjunction with you. So if you've got a couple of questions you want added, we'll do all the artwork and design it. Give you the word format and you can print them off and hand them out and we'll also set up an online um, version of it which automatically feeds into the Google Docs so you get notifi notified. So that system as well. Um, we will set up 
oh sorry, we'll write the reminder emails for you so you can put them into your uh, email system. We'll also write the referral thank you letter for you so that, so that you can have that ready to go in Word and send out as soon as people send you referrals along with the gift cards. You, you're responsible obviously for getting your own gift cards. Um, but there's plenty available and you know some of our customers have chosen Wish cards, some of them have got um, oh, JB Hi-Fi cards, there's, there's so many cards available now. Um, or you could choose movie tickets or any, any other kind of gift that you think that will appeal to, to the majority of your customers. And the other thing that we do is if you're going to put this system into place, Going forward, you're going to tip all your new clients into it, obviously, so that they, you know, they get all the bits and pieces and they go into the email system. But what about all the past customers? So to reactivate your past customers and get them involved with referring you, we suggest that you do a once-off mailing out to them. Nice direct mail letter introducing your new referral system or process or, you know, rewards and attach a few cards. And, and just mail it out. So we'll write that letter for you and um, so you can do that one-off mailing. So we've come up with six um, gorgeous designs so um, that reflect different types of businesses or colour schemes and we customise with your logo details and gift choice. Um, the other thing that is really important is implementing this system and, and knowing what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. And we've I've developed a, an online customer portal which provides um, quite detailed training in this system. And I just thought I might just take this opportunity to show it to you. Um, this is it here. So this is, you, there's a, a login password. Um, and once you log in, we've got the home page with a little welcome video. Then we've got kind of the assets page, so that's, they're the components that I was just talking about. Your referral cards, um, the thank you letter, so it just goes through in more detail what you get and how to use it. The customer survey form, um, the email that we'll write for you, the direct mail letter. But then there's a, a, a link at the bottom of each one and there's all the different designs. You just click that button there and that will open up um, an online order form where you, you enter in all your details of what you want um, and then as soon as we receive that, my, um, my team go into action and, and get your logo and design your cards and your wording, that sort of thing. So that's ordering all the assets and they're delivered within oh, a couple of weeks. Then we've also got a whole section on the training. So over in the training area, um, we look at guarantees. Now they're very important, and I, I don't mean a guarantee which says, oh, you know, your satisfaction is guaranteed. It really is important to have an outrageous guarantee. And I go into a, quite a bit of detail here on why guarantees, outrageous guarantees do work and about the myths and, you know, you're going to be stung if people try and claim the guarantee, well no. So that's all in here. Um, I've, there's a bit of information here on how to create your guarantee. Um, I've provided a heap of guarantee examples that we've created for some of our clients um, and the importance and how having a really strong guarantee gives you a really unique advantage over your competitors. The next, oh sorry, the next um, bit of training here is um, the review sites. So we actually give you a spreadsheet full of all the, the top um, sites around in Australia that we recommend that you list in and how to optimise your listing. And this is where you'd be sending your clients to give you reviews and some of them are directories so we've done all the research and all the homework and that's part of it. You get that. Um, with surveys, there's a little bit of information on, you know, the different types of surveys, even though we, we work with you to produce the survey with you. This is a little bit more background on just why surveys are so important and what they can do for you. Survey design, that sort of thing, questions. And finally, testimonials. And I put together, a, um, there's testimonials and I've mentioned and showed you earlier that 
the easiest way to get testimonials is through the survey form. But I also recommend that you get lots of different types of testimonials um, because there's so many different places where you can use them. And there's good testimonials and then there's great testimonials. So in this video, I'll show you um, how to get your customers to give you great testimonials and what to do with them once you've received them. You don't want to just put them all on one testimonials page. There's actually quite a lot of different things you can do with testimonials. It's really worth it. Um, then we've got some bonuses. So a couple of years ago, I wrote a book, um, How to Ensure Your Business is Referred 365 Days a Year. And that gives a lot of um, great little tips on um, getting lots of people to refer you, all kinds of situations and things that you could be doing. So you get a copy of that. We've got the review sites list. Um, I also recommend that everybody be listed in True Local. It's a free listing. Oh, excuse me, that chainsaw is starting up. The local council didn't get the memo about today's webinar and they've decided to chop down this enormous gum tree over our back fence. And they've been going all morning and I was hoping they had finished, but it sounds like it started up again. Never mind. So yes, true local tips um, we show you in the video um, how, to opt how to get your free listing and how to optimise it to the max. And finally, mail merge tips. So I've, if you're going to be doing a mailing out to your customers and you've got a, you know, quite a few of them, you don't want to be sitting there doing them all one by one. So this is a, if you don't know how to use Microsoft Word to do a mail merge quickly, so you're going to um, address everybody by, by name, then by all means this video will show you how to do it. So, so that's the training. Um, I'll just go back to where we were. Um, and that comes as part of, of our process so that you know once you've ordered your assets and we're in the background busy getting them designed and printed and sent to you and um, this training will help you implement everything correctly. With, I did mention with the emails, if you, um, we'll send you the, the pre-written emails ready for you to load into your own email system. If you don't have one like MailChimp or Active Campaign or Infusionsoft or, or any of those, we can actually um, set, that's a separate service, but we can set that up for you, create your nice templates and get it all automated and, and happening and train you in how to use it. So it's another service that we've provided for many of our clients. So the last, um, just before we go, um, I just wanted to show you the results of another one of our clients, Computer Cures in Melbourne. He provides um, computer repair um, services and training services and he implemented this system oh, probably a year ago. So far he's got over a hundred reviews on four different sites, True Local, Your Yellow Pages, Google and Facebook. He religiously hands out those little review cards and he's got the emails reminders going out as well and that's how many reviews he's managed to generate in that time which is just outstanding. It's He competes in the marketplace with um, some much bigger companies, particularly franchises and they haven't got anywhere near as many reviews, um, positive reviews as what he has so it's really done him the world of good in terms of you know building trust and getting his inquiry rates up. Um, He's had 28 testimonials. Um, he's gone to the nth degree and he asks his customers to, when they give the testimonials, um, to if they could use his photo, if he could use their photo, and we've got them all over his website. Um, it's nice photos. It's just, it's just outstanding what he's been able to achieve. And he's getting five new clients a month from referrals. So he, he went on to send me this little email a couple of weeks ago. It's a very nice testimonial basically saying that he used to get one referral every two months or so and now he's getting five a month. He's getting, you know, some beautiful positive reviews. Um, and this is a, uh, quite interesting. Not only do these act as great social proof reducing risk for new potential customers, but it, it has actually helped his website to go up the Google ranking, rankings 
beating his competitors. So there's another added advantage of having lots of reviews. So it's part of the secret source that makes up a large part of his marketing system and he can directly attribute 47 new customers to the system, which is outstanding. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? 47 customers he would not have had if he hadn't put the system into place. So here's just a snapshot of everything I've just covered um, with our system. If you decided that um, if you want to go ahead and do it yourself, by all means, please do. You will need all the components where I've found that they all work. If you just do one or two, it doesn't. it's not as effective as doing the whole lot together. So you will need some review cards to encourage people to give you reviews. You will need referral cards. You will need the satisfaction um, survey system. Definitely need a couple of um, emails in, you know, or, and automate them so you're not sitting there sending them out. Um, you definitely need a referral thank you letter for people who start to give you referrals. It's a good idea to reactivate your past customers with um, you know, a nice direct mail piece. And of course, we also throw in the detailed training and the bonuses. So the value of what we've been selling this for is twelve ninety five, but because I'm so pleased that you know everybody has or made time to come and join me today, I've got a special offer. Um, excuse me. So it's not twelve ninety five; it's eight ninety five, or you can pay in two payments of four seventy five. And if you're an action taker and you take action in the next 48 hours, I'll even give you a further 11% off. So that brings that those prices right down to 796 or two payments of 432. And that's where you can go to commonsensemarketing.com.au forward slash trust system. And that's on that page you will see details of everything I've just covered um, and the order forms where you can place those orders. But whether you use our system, my system, or whether you implement your own, I think you'll agree, or I hope you agree, that you, you know, don't live in hope. Put in an automated system, you know, something on autopilot to build trust and reduce risk, to get lots of customers to review you. You need that. To receive valuable feedback and testimonials, you need them, and to to get more customers to refer you because you will reap the rewards. You, you know, it's going to reduce your marketing costs. It's going to enhance your Google rankings. You're going to get more inquiries, inquiries, and more customers. You just got to keep feeding the machine. Basically, it takes once you've got the system set up and you're doing all these things. You're only spending a couple of minutes a week putting new clients into the email system. That's it. The rest of it, oh, and perhaps adding more testimonials to your website. That's all you're doing. It's pretty amazing, isn't it, for the for the amount of benefit that you will generate. So that's our system, the ultimate customer referral and trust system. We've put it in place for many clients. Um, and I know some people who've done it themselves. So either way, um, I urge you to have a think about this and have a look. And I think now would be a great time if you've got any questions about it, um, please put them in the chat and we'll see if I can answer, I'll stay online and answer them. Uh, let's have a look. If anybody's got any questions, please, let's see what we've got. Um, oh, here we go. Mia, how can people trust that my testimonials aren't fake? Good question. Um, what we always suggest is that you put first name and last name and the suburb, um, instead of just, you know, you often see testimonials, John R., Victoria, um, I just find that they look like they could be fake. So I suggest that you always put as much information about the customer as possible and like Paul has done, if possible, use a photo. Even better, get a video. <laughs> okay, we've got another message here. Um, Maria has just um, shared the link to the tr 
to our trust system um, page in the chat for you if you can copy and paste it there. Well, it looks like um, we don't have any other questions, so I'd like to thank you all kindly for joining us today and I hope um, that you you did get some value out of today's webinar and I look forward to joining you again. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye now.